That saw, you want to use one of the hand saw, the coping saw. Okay, tell me, tell me first, how are you going to attach these pieces to the mouse? Easy. Okay. Now, be very careful with the wood of the base of the mouse trap. It's very uh, hard. Okay? And if you break the mouse trap base, okay, the mouse trap isn't any good anymore. What you may want to do is attach these strips to this piece of wood first and then tape the mouse trap on for the time being. Because if it doesn't work out, you can just take the tape off and you haven't destroyed anything. You haven't made anything permanent. Right? So, uh, maybe attach it like this, using small nails, two small nails, here and here, and then the other one over there. And then tape the mouse trap on top. That way you won't, you'll keep the uh, cutting to a minimum. Yep. You almost could ああ、<笑><笑><笑><笑><笑> <laughs> they seem to they seem to be like stymied. They're, they're stuck in a rut. And a lot of times a teammate jumps out with a good idea, somehow gets stuck. You know, they, they can't they can't loosen up enough to bounce around and then somebody else, another team comes along. We find that a lot of times it's the kids who are sometimes disciplined problems. Or for, um, I don't know how to explain it, but it, not the best students, mm -hmm. the ones who are willing to take a little gamble, yeah, uh, are open-minded, you know, and uh, maybe a little more street-wise or whatever. For some reason, they seem to, you know, grasp it better. The other ones seem to be some, somewhat too rigid yeah. to be able to do. They're, they're stuck in the, in the educational mindset of tell me what to do and I'll do it. You know, I'll memorize what they'll, you know, and, and it, they can't do the other ones while the rebels tend to figure things out for themselves a bit more. I think there's a damsel in distress over there. Uh, <laughs> who needs help? Yes. And um, um, we better tighten this thing together, or should we put it lo uh, more loose? <laughs> uh, tape? Who needs tape? Who said tape? Scissor. Okay. Oh, sandpaper. I'm sorry. Scissor. Gouchy. Sandpaper here. Wait a minute. Gouchy is tape, right? Scissor. Gao is tape. Gao is scissor. Oh, with an N at the end? Gao Jin? Yeah. Oh, okay. I didn't hear the. Oh, I think they're over here. Oh, wait, whoa, whoa, wait. Oh, whoa. Please. Two hands. She's not so. You need this? No. What? What do you need? Two tools to take the hole. This one. Ah, the drill. Yeah. The hand drill. Okay. When
Today we're going to start on our second activity here in TechEd. And the activity is called Problem Solving. What I'm going to do is divide you up into teams of three. Actually, you're going to divide yourselves up into teams of three. Right? I'm going to present you with a problem, the same problem for all the teams. Right? You're going to have to come up with your own solutions to that problem. All right. Now, there's a certain technique for solving problems that I will describe to you, but I'm not going to tell you how to solve the problem. Okay? Any questions so far? No. Yeah. Am I going to give you hints? Um, yes and no. It depends on how well you move along. I think with this class being a very bright class, I will not have to give you very many hints. Right? Well, we hope that with 18 bright students in the room that we'll have at least one good solution <coughs> to the problem. Okay, any more questions? Can no? we find other teachers to help us? Other teachers to help. Yes, you can ask your science teacher and you can ask your math teacher for possible solutions to the problem. But they can't do it for you. You still have to solve the problem here in this room. Okay? Now, what I have for you now is a short video <coughs> that describes the same process but in a grammar school, elementary school level. How many of you know where PS41 is? Right? It's, no? it's in Greenwich Village and Mr. Tobin at PS41 had the same activities in his science, sixth grade science class. Now the problem that he gives his students is not the problem that I'm going to give yours. But I want you to watch how the students go about answering that problem and coming up with a good solution for it. Okay, if there are any, aren't any more questions, then I'll show you the video now. Alright, it will take about seven, five or seven minutes. This is an egg. A funny thing happens when you drop it. Alright, now here's your job for this contest. Alright, the first thing you have to consider is the shape. What shapes are really strong? Okay. The next thing you have to consider is the materials. We have paper, feathers, cardboard, rubber bands, Suppose like all the eggs break, that everybody, all the groups did, what would happen? Well, hopefully we'd get at least one container in which the eggs didn't break. Brainstorming is something that you just make up, you know, you just think of funny ideas that, you know, don't make sense, or they could make sense, but, you know, just think about something, then it comes up, pops right in your head like that. 
I was thinking like making an egg shape with a little latch so you could put the egg in and having something that you could close it. For brainstorming, we have attached sticks on all sides, so like when it falls, it'll bump around the sticks instead of smashing the egg. Fill up the, like put a foam ball around it and fill up the foam with cotton, or you can fill the foam up with water or fill it up with feathers. And cover the egg with glue, so if the egg drops, the glue will protect it. Glue cotton on the egg. Hard boil the egg. Put the eggs in like a big like puff of round foam, so when you drop it, it'll like roll around. And put like sticks sticking out of it, sort of like wind, so when you drop it, it'll sort of glide instead of just fall. <laughs> Just bounce down, and it would be protected by the grass and the feathers. So, uh, the feathers and the wing, whatever this is supposed to be. First, you put cotton, like cotton, because it's going to stay in the position that it's in. Okay, okay. Let me see something. Let me just say, maybe we can use a little cotton, like to put like around the egg. But see, most of this is just to slow it down, so it won't go like this. Wow. Like shape like a chicken. It wouldn't be exactly like a chicken. It would be sort of like a chicken man or whatever. But it would be look like a chicken. Yeah, like you said. And um, the feet would be wide, so it couldn't like go over. This is um the parachute, and it helps it fall. And the if there's any hot air down here, it'll go up here and keep it up for a little longer. Then here's a triangle because triangles are strong. And then it's going to be held up by a rubber band so there will be a door here so you can put the end in. The feathers are here, so when it goes down, it, 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 is, um, it slows it down. Yeah. And this is in Central Park. This is the castle in Central Park. Okay. Okay. So as you see, that class was given a problem and then had a series of steps that it had to follow to solve that problem. Right. Who can remember the first step that they talked about? Yeah. Brainstorming. Brainstorming. All right. Now, brainstorming is what I think is the most fun part of solving a problem. Brainstorming is where you take a piece of paper, all right, and in your team, remember you have three people on a team, on that piece of paper you start writing down all sorts of ideas for solving that problem. Any ideas. The rule about brainstorming is that nobody can criticize any ideas. Right? You can have great ideas, you can have stupid ideas, you can have smart ideas, you can have dumb ideas, you can have crazy ideas, but you write down all the ideas. Right? That's the brainstorming part. Then from brainstorming, you have to start to eliminate ideas and come up with one or two possible solutions. Right? That's where you would throw out the stupid ideas and throw out the crazy ideas and then come up with maybe one or two solutions. Okay? That's the first step, brainstorming. After you have one or two solutions set, the next step is to start designing. Right? And that is where you move from written pieces of paper onto drawings. Right? You have to start drawing your solution to the problem. Now, in our problem, 